there is a menace that lurks in your neighborhood, and it's not what you're expecting. Absolutely terrible. This danger may look harmless, but they are more than just an inconvenience. They are a threat to your home, your pets, and yourself. We gotta get them sons of bitches. This threat is the frogs. While most frogs are harmless and good for the ecosystem, there are certain amphibians that will bring misfortune to anyone unlucky enough to encounter them. The Cuban tree frog and the cane toad are invasive frog species that destroy local ecosystems. Capable of secreting toxins from their bodies, these frogs are dangerous to humans, pets, and wildlife. They are known to breed rapidly and can cause a complete infestation in a matter of days. Thus, the creation of an anti-frog task force was required. Well, I actually grew up in Mississippi and uh, back around high school, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with my time, but uh, one day, one of my parents' folks, uh, friends of us, they, asked, they said you know, they got these frogs eating all the crops, so they, they were seeing like we could do a hand. And, and I was like, oh, get, get our son out there. And so I went out. Uh, he burnt me your hell. And I was like, oh, jeez. So, uh, you know, I tried out some stuff, and I looked up some old masters. And uh, I found someone who could help me out. And uh, he said, you know, we worked together. He said I just I got a spark for this kind of thing. I, I became an apprentice, and I, you know, I couldn't finish high school. I was too busy. I had to be a frog hunter, you know? Got kicked out of college for pissing on a new freshman at the frat. Went on, got frog training with one of the old masters, and I'll tell you what, got certified by the School of Hard Knocks. These frog hunters know the dangers that these frogs can bring, so they are not afraid to use excessive force if needed. Alright, so let's say you're peeping on some frogs in the stream, and uh, you don't want them there. Well, you gotta scare them downstream, but how do you scare frogs downstream? It's pretty hard, there, you know, there's too many of them for the untrained man. So what you do is you grab some firecrackers, you know, whatever you got laying around. You light them up, you set them down right by the riverbed. Bang, bang, bang. Those frogs are back and on. They're holy shit. They go running downstream. They're scared. There are many effective ways to kill frogs. And maybe up the ass, BB gun to the head, uh, a rock, big rock. Frog hunting ain't no joke. You know, they say the most dangerous game is man, but... I say it's frogs. See, most animals, you got them once, if you fail, they don't remember you. You know, a deer, you shoot at it, it hops away, it's never gonna come back to you, but a frog, you take a swipe at it and you let it live, it's gonna lay eggs, like, right under your house. It's it's never gonna forget you. Don't take your eyes off them, because they won't take their eyes off you. These dangerous invasive frogs have caused significant damage throughout the years. And they have caused an estimated 92 million dollars in damages in the United States. If these frogs aren't stopped as soon as possible, their effects can be catastrophic to anyone involved. Despite their best efforts, the frog hunters can only do so much, and sometimes, tragedy is unavoidable. Uncontained frogs can cause big damage. Frogs are mean, like the smell of the streets in India. One time there were some mean frogs and they got in the power grid somehow. They were at the local power plant. <clears throat> Those fuckers were everywhere. They exploded in population. They got in the circuit boards. They broke. I tell you what. Power went out in the city for two days. It was a small city, but it was important, right? People started burning wood in their houses. They were not properly ventilated. And then it led to dead. It led to dead. Well, I got a house call back in Sippy, and... When they called, the, the panic I heard in their voices, I was like, are you, you want to be calling me and not the, you know, the cops or something? Is this like a home invasion? It is a home invasion, but by frogs. And so and I hawk him in my truck and I bring my buddy along. I, I think I brought two buddies because I knew this was going to be a battle. You know, we show up this nice little farmhouse, you know, red, real beauty. And you can just hear the chirping. It's it's like a, if you ever seen like those, I don't know what it's called, like, just those cricket swarms that, you know, they come on crops. They sound like that, but it was frogs. And you could just see, like, just flashes of, you know, just their bodies moving all over the place, just out. And so we get up to the house and we knock on the door. The door just swings open real slow. I, 
and there's just frogs like you know they're skidding out all over the place and we come in my missus missus ma'am we we don't find no word of her it, the frogs it was just everywhere we knew we we, just, we couldn't deal with them they, there's no way we didn't bring enough buckets we didn't bring enough you know explosives nothing so we just had to bring that fucker down it was the only way to take out those nasty frogs if you find yourself in the middle of a frog infestation, there is only one way to solve the problem. Make sure you call a professional if you have nuisance wildlife. In your state, you should be able to call the Fish and Wildlife Commission and they should have a list of different professionals that deal with nuisance animals. Now, most folks, they try to take care of themselves at first. They, you know, they put out some poison traps, they try to catch some, but it, Frogs breed like rabbits, but you know, 10 times as much because they're so tiny. So your best bet, call the frog hunters before it gets out of hand. With their lives on the line, the frog hunters continue to do all they can to stop the frog army in their tracks.